Hi, in this video I will show you uh, how to solve an error in an ASP uh, React application. So what you see here in the background is my ASP.NET Core.NET uh, 5 uh, with application with React in front end. That's the client app and that's my uh, program startup uh, file and I'm running, I try to get some data and the data I've already connected the controller there. There are the article, articles controller which uh, lists me a lot of articles but my data, my controller never reaches that endpoint so it never comes into there as when I set a breakpoint there and when I start my application so when I go to home and try to get my list then it always says hey it's for uh, 304 okay and 304 and okay means uh, it never reached the endpoint it's the same when I go in there and try to call it uh, direct so it's called API articles and then a list it never 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 reaches the endpoint so you see when I have a breakpoint in my articles controller my uh, list control data controller it never comes to that breakpoint so the reason the magic for it is it's quite it's not quite simple but it, there is a reason uh, first of all we go to the program we see that's the uh, use endpoint uh, is the decision where it jumps out uh, whenever you call the data in the background you have the controller like API controller that's what you see there when you have this API uh, articles list for example the articles is the controller API is um, my uh, extension or pre, -ex pre um, word so that it's different to, uh, to the articles list to the file uh, and so it said okay whenever there is a go to the articles for example and then the index for example list for, and then the id when, you, when we are in the controller i would set here road uh, root and then api articles so this is my list list me all my articles which i have and now uh, what happens is when we have here our client app the react app or uh, react or angular and if it's a modern application um, then you run both on one application on a web app you install only one stuff you install the entire app and in the front end runs the client app and in the back end runs the controller so both are running at the same time uh, and what uh, the framework does in the moment or the, the scaffold uh, when you install it does the following it can't read uh, it, it can't differentiate and there is a automatically set up a file in here so this is normally the app the app shows where is it routing to in the spa app then there is a app routes so it's uh, all complex stuff and I added there my new list me all articles which I have so but that's that's nice all nice but there's also a, a small file here in the background half a day of work uh, where's the proxy here set up the proxy and what you have to do is you have to skip that out say okay uh, there so let's skip that out I added it so make a front slash API which means whenever somebody uh, opens that stuff with a front slash API then uh, it should reach its endpoint. Let's see. I'm not sure if it runs from the uh, from the beginning. So I'm. I think I have to restart um, since this is uh, in uh, base stuff. So go there. Hot reload. Let's stop and start again. And we still have the breakpoint there. And whenever it starts now, 
server is also starting on that side. Now when I go to list, now it reaches the control endpoint. When I go on there, it will take some, it will get some data from the database. So this is uh, React and the database is in the background. So you see a lot of data are there and there's a, a preview of that stuff. We won't have, we won't look into it deeper at the moment. Go on, let's, let's say, it, go on. Now it came on there oh, and we don't do it. Uh, simply break there and go on. Now you will see this is absolutely easy. And when you go the IPA way, so when you talk uh, direct, then you will see there comes a JSON list. Uh, whenever you create a API controller, it's always a JSON in the output. You don't have to uh, set the uh, attributes in here, only set the attribute uh, that this is your uh, definite list that you where you want to react and the API controller. This means it's always, you only have to say here, take something and then to list and the always the return list is uh, in JSON and I hope it helped you a lot and my documentation will be somewhere let's say here either in my ready.net or my kodoku.com or anything else where, where I am rewriting now onto react.